I recently visited the favela, known also as a shanty town or slum in Brazil. This is my first ever experience visiting the community that is home to some of Rio's poorest people. This is Malai community in the Rio de Janeiro. It's one of the most dangerous places in the city, but I found something very special. I was led into the music school by a local girl called Deborah Choi. She's been here since the school was started in 2010, and has since become a tutor, setting a good example for many. I grew up here and found many have misunderstandings of favelas, like there are only violent and illegal things. In fact, when this orchestra came here, we got a new idea that we can choose to play musical instruments and do some meaningful things. My name is Carlos Eduardo Prazeres. 59-year-old Carlos Eduardo Prazeres is a school's founder. He says he established the school for a special reason. His father, a musician, was kidnapped and killed in the favela. I think it's a, a good way to reconnect with my father, changing lives and change lives in, in Mare. Maybe I'm teaching music for the, the, the son or, or, or grandson of the man who killed my father. So it's the way to, to clean my heart about our suffering. When the school first opened, there were only four students. Carlos says 10,000 have since passed through its doors. Some have become musicians, and others have found their dreams and become doctors, lawyers, and journalists. He says he plans to continue working at the school for a long time. I don't plan to retire. <laughs> I love Mare. I, I, I learned to, to, to love this place, to love these people. Carlos says he's grateful for the help the school received from the Chinese State Great Company. He says the help over the past 11 years has made the school and its project grow and change the lives of many children. Deborah says for this reason, she would like to visit China one day. One of my dreams is to go to China, and I really want to teach there and perform there because I really like the country. People I met at the favela have told me the music has won respect from the entire community. Everyone they say, no matter where they are, wants the better life and a better future for the kids.